But then the news that Lute Olson would not make the trip. Olson staying in Tucson to be with his wife, Bobby, who is battling ovarian cancer. Assistant Jim Rosborough taking the Cats into Gamble. When the Huskies hadn't lost to a non-conference foe in seven years, it's our showcase game. Woods a little rusty, but he did show flashes. Jason Gardner feeds him. The man has a wingspan. Yeah. Woods with nine points, Zona by four. Last two minutes, Woods, the errant pass to Gardner. Gardner runs it down. Nice ball movement by Arizona. Back to Woods, and then loses it. And UConn's freshman, Talik Brown, is going to go for a run. This is how they do it in New York City. Straight to the hole. Yup, and the foul. Talik knocks it down. A three-point play. UConn cuts it to one. UConn down three with under 50 to play. Albert Mooring just one bucket all day, but there he knocks down his second. He's got that shooter's mentality. We're all tied up, and Gamble's going nuts. Tied at 69. Gardner to Michael Wright. Absolutely repudiated by Johnny Selvey. Is it out of bounds off UConn? What's the call? Calhoun wants a shot clock violation, and he gets it. UConn basketball. Under seven seconds, Tony Robertson driving. Laura Woods over the block, but hold everything. Calhoun wants goaltending, and he gets that as well. Please look at the replay. This was not a good call. That ball is not on the way down. Rosborough, a oh, tough one for an assistant in hostile territory in the last seconds. They review the play. They add a little time to the clock. Woods has a look. But it's off the rim, and Jimmy Calhoun and his Huskies skip away with the win, 71-69. The Huskies finished the game on a 12-2 run. The freshman, Karan Butler, led UConn with 16. In his first game this season, Wood shot just 3 of 12, had just two rebounds in 34 minutes. He did have three blocks, and of course, the one big goaltending call. Number seven, Illinois hosting eighth-ranked Seton Hall. Darius Lane for three. He had 31, and you know what? Grandma's fired up. <laughs> Seton Hall up 17 at halftime. Second half, though, the Illini get within two. Frank Williams going up and under. Tied at 66. Part of a 30-13 to 13 Illini run. Williams again changing hands in midair. Oh, gorgeous. Two of his 21. We're tied up now. 1.7 seconds left. Marcus Griffin for the win. Clank. We're going to overtime in OT. Corey Bradford, just two for 12 in regulation, hits the triple, tying an NCAA record, his 73rd straight game with at least one three. Bradford said afterward that was a perfect time to get it out of the way. Illinois up one. Seton Hall turns it over. Bradford, hey, Corey, how about one more triple? He's feeling it. 0 for 8 from long range in regulation. He goes two for two in overtime, finishing with 15 points. Hall down three. Tie shine. Tie for the tie. Really? He was just one for nine shooting. Down 21 late in the first half. Illinois comes back to win. 87-79. Marcus Griffin led the Illini. 24 points, 13 boards. Eddie Griffin, 20 and 10, and the Pirates' first loss of the season. Illinois gets to 7 and 2. Coach Bill Sell said afterward, this is one of the biggest, funnest wins I've ever been a part of. To Duke, Mike Krzyzewski said, Battier was one of those guys that feels like he's got a term paper due every day. So for a senior year, Battier wants to change his image. He's taken to wearing false teeth to get a rise out of strangers and is walking around campus with giant balloon boxing gloves on his hands. The gloves coming off for Saturday's visit from Michigan. Early first half, Mike Dunleavy ahead to Carlos Boozer. Michigan's Josh Moore gets stripped by Dunleavy. Nate James spotting Jason Williams. Williams, two of his 20. Michigan would get on the board, though. Avery Queen underneath to Chris Young. It's 9-2, to but Brian Ellerby could not be prepared for what would come next. Jason Williams for two, make it three. Mike Dunleavy for three to long way. Shane Battier for three, gloves off. He had 21. Duke opens with a 34-2 run. Chris Duhon here, Casey Sanders there. James for three. Blue Devils up 41 at halftime. Brian Ellerby's team went nine minutes without a basket. Chris Duhon's brother, Thomas, Getting a, a fan favorite ride, Duke in a blowout, 104 to 61. The fourth worst loss in Michigan history drops Brian Ellerby's team two and five. The Wolverines' worst start in 19 seasons. Duke's 41 point halftime lead, tied for third best in school history. Michigan has lost four in a row, all by double digits. Fordham and St. John's at the Garden. Less than 30 seconds left. Fordham up one. Bad pass here. Omar Cook 
tips it to Reggie Jesse. Jesse saves it to Willie Shaw, and he's fouled by Steve Canal. He hit both freebies. Red Storm up one. Bob Hill fired up. Ten seconds left. Fordham here for the win. Robin wants to go by him. He does. Banked it in. Robin led the Rams with 17 points and seven assists, adding eight rebounds, played all 40 minutes. Fordham wins its fifth straight to get to five and one. Dunn's Nittany Lions second half. Alex Wesby open for three. 11 for Wesby Saturday. Owls up by eight. Later in the half, though, Titus Ivory for three. 21 for Ivory, and the Lions take a two-point lead. They're up 60-58. 46 seconds left. John Crispin. John, oh, he's spinning all over the court. The runner. The brothers, John and Joe Crispin, each with 12 points. And the Lions beat Temple 66 to 60. Temple is in a free fall. After opening the season 4-0, the Owls have dropped five straight for the first time under John Chaney. Miami of Ohio and Notre Dame. Mike Bray sitting Troy Murphy for using that fake ID. Mike Ensminger, the hook shot over Ryan Humphrey. He had 16. Okay, that's enough. Come on in, Troy. Miami up three. Humphrey coming up with the steal. Murphy running free. He had 22 on a bad ankle. Late half two. Jason Grunkemeyer. It's not a Red Hawks highlight unless Jason Grunkemeyer gets involved. And there he goes. The bunny. Miami goes on to win this one 73-64, upsetting number 10 Notre Dame in South Bend. Miami was a game under 500 coming in, but they've now knocked off Notre Dame and Temple. The Red Hawks held Notre Dame 23 points below their season scoring average. Kentucky and Georgia Tech and in Atlanta. Georgia Tech's Halston Lane, the freshman. Halston, a name brand three-point shooter. He had 23. Wildcats down one, less than two to play. Tayshawn Prince down low. You betcha. Cats on a 14-zip run to take the lead. After a foul shot ties it up. Less than 10 seconds. Sean Fine, baseline. Tech up two with 1.3 to go. Kentucky last chance. And Alvin Jones bats it away. Playing good D. Tech wins 86-84. Fine's basket was the Jackets first in over seven minutes. Of Chicago. First half, Marcus Taylor to Charlie Bell, the last of the Flintstones. He had 19. Tom Izzo's guys up 18, but he's still coaching. Second half, Taylor with the steal, and Marcus will take it all by his lonesome. Michigan State wins by 32. Rutgers at number nine, Florida. Second half, Florida up two. Brent Wright to Teddy Dupe. He loves the three ball, doesn't he? He has 16. Later in the second, Florida up seven. Udonis Haslam gets the ball, makes a little move, gets nothing, but he is undeniable. He had 20. Gators win at 79, 65. Number 12, North Carolina, Texas A&M. Second half, Carolina up 12. Jason Capel coming up with the change. Out ahead to Joseph Forte, who is skilled. Betcha. The Heels win at 82 to 60. The turnover. Number 17, Maryland at Pennsylvania. Second half, Quakers down a lot. Lamar Plummer, the lob pass, and right into the hope. I meant to do that, really. I swear. Pennsylvania cuts the lead to 14, but Steve Blake burying the triple with the clock dying. Maryland wins 87-81. Ohio at number 20, Wisconsin. First half, Wisconsin up eight. Roy Boone. There is he. Where's Roy? There he is. He's got the pick. And there goes Roy Boom. Mm -hmm. He had 13 in the first half. Second half, Badgers up nine. Mark Vershaw's going to put it up. Andy Kasky, could you get that? Thank you. Wisconsin wins at 65 to 46. Another action. The Sooners went on a 30 to 2 run and half one to put away North Texas.